So let me start off by giving you guys a general overview of this interface. On the left hand side, we've got different options to control the parameters of how the melody is performed. We've got our performance pads in the center here and our melody bank information on the right. If we go over to the top left, we've got our key. You can set that if you've already got a basic melody going and you can match it with what you're already playing or match it to the sample that you might be using. If not, of course, you can just play around until you find something that works for you. We can set the speed from a slow melody or a fast melody. Octaves, would you like it playing in a lower parameter, in the middle or in a higher octave? Do you want the melody to feel like it's swung or straight? And do you want the melody to be able to play triplets or no? This means three notes played in short succession. Finally, do you want the rhythm of the melody to be syncopated or not? That means on the beat to the grid or outside of that. Over on this side, and as I'm sure you'll see later, we have the ability to swap notes. So if you choose a melody that's light and you like the pattern, but you don't necessarily like how it feels, you can set it to more of a darker tone. You'll also be able to harmonize with your melody, switching between thirds, fifths and octaves. And finally, you'll be able to switch between legato options. Do you want your notes to be short or do you want them to be long and sustained? Of course, the most exciting part of this plugin is going to be the center options. Here we have three options along the top and three along the side. We have the option to play a simple melody, a complex melody, or both. And your melody can have a lighter feel or a darker feel, or can play a more modal pattern that switches between both. When you select a pattern, Melody Bank is illuminated, and you have the option to play, drag in your MIDI option, and delete your melody. Don't forget that if you ever get lost, you always have help tips up in the top right. Now that you've got an overview, let's get started. I am of course using Ableton for this tutorial, but please do not be discouraged. The appearance of Melody Source won't change no matter what DAW you use. I have already programmed a quick drum pattern, and I'm using some of my go-to snares, a kick, rattle and open hats, and a crash. Cool, so I think this is going to give me a really good base to start my track upon. Now before recording this episode, I had already happened to find a great starting melody just using a stock pad sound in Phase Plant, which I gave a slightly low pass filter. You can see in the melody bank, my pattern is already loaded and the parameters on the left show that I have chosen a relatively fast pattern in the middle octaves with no swing, triplet or syncopated rhythm. This is what it sounds like. So in the top right, I'll use the MIDI drag button to drop my MIDI pattern into my project. Note how in the bottom right, it automatically mutes Melody Source. This is super handy, as if you've used different step sequences in plugins, you may have noticed a jump in volume where you have two overlapping patterns from the initial sound source and its copied pattern. Great, so I'm going to copy that up and continue to work on this project. I want another secondary melody and which I'm also going to use Melody Source for. So in Ableton, I'll unarm my first instrument and set my second instrument's input ready to receive information from Melody Source. With this pattern, I'll obviously keep the key the same. I'm going to have this now in a higher register and turn syncopation on. My melody is now going to play in an alternative rhythm to my pad, which will give it some movement to my track. I want it to come in on the one. I really like this pattern, but I'm going to use note swap to take it from a darker tone to a lighter one. That's much better. Now just to experiment with the harmonizing functions to get the right timbre for my song. Um, it's definitely between these two.
perfect. I much prefer it sitting here. It allows the melody to be coupled with itself, but an octave lower. Let's just add this to the project. So for the last time, I'm going to change the octaves. Mm. We'll keep it in the lower registers. Same as before, no swing, no triplets, with syncopation on. Finally, a simple pattern and dark tone. Whoops. Um, I don't feel like I've picked a suitable sound here, but we'll fix it, don't worry. It's a nice melody though. We just need to adjust the instrument that's playing it. Something more staccato. Brilliant, that's exactly what I'm going for. And now for the last time today, we'll add that to our project. Now all that's left to do is add some bass to our track, maybe some extra percussion, risers, and give it a quick mix and we're finished. Oh, oh, oh.